Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while since I made a video for you guys, but I've been busy with like the prom season and graduation season, but now that all that is over, I have time to make a couple of videos for you guys. So for this video, um, I have posted a little video the other night of a pair of shoes that I had made um, with blue and crystal rhinestones, and a lot of people were asking me questions about them, I guess because you guys are interested in uh, using rhinestones to do your own shoes. I personally have no problem telling you guys what I do or where I got my supplies. I don't have a problem with it. Um, there are some people online that do charge to get information. I don't understand why. Um, it's really not a big secret how to rhinestone your shoes. So if someone is trying to charge you 50 or 70 or $100 to get information how to rhinestone your shoes, just it's not worth the money. Um, I really don't think you should have to pay somebody to tell you what type of glue and what type of rhinestones to use. So I think if someone wants to help you out and give you some advice, it should be for free. So I'm gonna just let you guys know where I get my rhinestones from, what kind of glue I use and things like that. And let you guys see uh, some of the things that I do. First, um, these are the shoes if you guys haven't been on any of my social media and you haven't seen the shoes these are the shoes that I made so it's the blue and the crystal color rhinestones usually I use a B color which if you don't know what a B color is I'll show you what that is and the way I do it is I try to cover up every spot like I try to make sure that every little spot has a rhinestone in it so I could take it in close for you guys. I try to make sure that every single spot is covered. That's just how I like to do it. So you'll see, like, since it's closer, there are tiny AB stones in it, which I think are the size two AB stones, which give it a little extra sparkle instead of it just being regular crystal rhinestones and the blue. And there's, I really have no actual way of how I did this. I just freestyled it. So it's not like I drew out a pattern or anything like that. I just really freestyled it because I was up one night and I was bored and I didn't know what to do. So there's no way with these. I haven't finished these yet. Um, I got to finish filling the heart in. But with these, how I did the heart was a cookie cutter. I just took a regular cookie cutter that I got from Walmart, uh, put it on top of the shoe, and then I traced it with a pencil and then just started filling it in with the rhinestones. So, I mean, simple stuff like this, like I said, you guys shouldn't have to pay anybody for information. If somebody's gonna help you out, they're gonna help you out for free. Um, I get my rhinestones basically from eBay. So these are, I'll show you guys the crystals. So these are the crystal rhinestones that I got from eBay. And these are the ones that are on the shoe I just showed you and usually when I do my shoes I use size 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, I usually don't go bigger than that. These do have size 6 on them. This is a size 6. The ones that are in the middle that's a size 6 so that's the biggest size. I don't usually use that. It's usually 2, 3, 4, 5 whenever I do shoes. So this is the crystal and I got these on eBay. And then the AB color, which if you don't know what the AB looks like, this is the AB color. And I usually use this, I don't use the crystal too often. So the AB color is a majority of what I really have. And I just started using different colors, like um, the pink, this is my bag of pink. And I got this from eBay, I think this is 10,000. And then the blues, of course, I got from eBay also. And I usually most of the time use the same seller, which is Be The Better. And that's just one of the best sellers that I use. If you do do rhinestoning, please, 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 please do not go to your local craft supply store and get the rhinestones that are in there. Like if you have a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or any type of craft supply store like that where they sell the little rhinestones, it will not come out the same. Um, it's gonna come out pretty dull. 
and most of the time your glue shows underneath once you stick them on so you guys don't want that your best bet is to order from an online store whether it be from ebay or um there's a couple of sellers online that sell them i haven't used Swarovski crystal yet i only use that one time and i only use it if a customer um prefers to use that a majority of the time my customers don't care as long as it sparkles like that they don't care as long as it's pretty i haven't had anyone really request to use this for swarovski crystal so like i said a majority of the time um ebay is where i get them um if you don't like to wait because sometimes be the better it takes a while to get to you it takes a while to deliver there is a seller in the u.s and these are from them it's blingasm.com and I'll leave the link down below for them too and these rhinestones are from them it's a pack of AB size 3 um, you have to order a minimum of $10 so you can't just put one thing in your cart it has to be a minimum of $10 on their website and I'll leave a coupon code down below for you guys but it has to be over $10 for you to order from their site but you'll at least get it faster it's a little bit more than be to better but you'll get it faster if you don't feel like waiting for be to better because I'm guessing depending on where you live be to better will come quick or not because sometimes for me it'll come fast and then other times it'll take like a month to come because it is located in China so I'm guessing depending on where you live that's how quick it's going to come to you um I'll show you guys my little rhinestone box so this is my rhinestone box this is all the stuff I use when I do my shoes for you guys, I have to get um, the hot fix tool in order to do um, hot fixing because a lot of people have been asking me to do clothes and hats and things like that and I don't have a hot fix tool yet. So I'm going to get the hot fix tool and like I said, this all of this right here is AB. Oops, I'm spilling out. This is all AB, all my AB crystals. Like this is 5,000, this is 5,000. Like I get them in bulk. That way I don't have to worry about ordering more. I don't have to worry about running out. And like I said, E6000, that's the glue I use. Um, I know most people who are in another country and things like that, you guys don't have E6000. But if you guys have the closest thing to it, because E6000 is one of the strongest glues around and if anybody has um any worries because i've seen on facebook where people have had worries that the e6000 inhaling it is going to cause a problem then open up a window or go in the garage or do it outside or anything like that to keep it keep the fumes out because it does have a strong smell to it and these are my colored rhinestones I got all of these from eBay. So eBay, 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 be the better. All the be the betters, they all come in packages like this. So I got all of these from eBay. I got these from um, an auction on eBay. These are, I think uh, it's called Rose AB or Black Rose AB, something like that. And I won these in an auction on eBay. these two these came from um a seller a u.s seller in ebay so i got these pretty quick like you said guys go to ebay check the make sure you check the reviews make sure you check the sellers to see if you know they're good read the reviews and things like that that's the first thing i go to is the reviews when i'm buying from somebody these are from bling Anthem. I'm starting to do colors now because a lot of people are like, you know, can you do colors? So instead of just the A, B and the crystals, so these are some more of my crystals and the blues and things like that. So I'm trying to get more into doing colors. These are the six. You guys can see how big those are. Those are the six. This right here. Now I did this just to see like what it would look like to see, um, 
what I could do because a lot of people have asked me to do liquor bottles because I know there are people that do like the Ciroc bottles and things like that. So I did this just for practice. Now these rhinestones are the rhinestones from like a local craft store. So that's why they look a little bit different. They don't look like these. So you guys see the difference? This is why I said don't use the rhinestones from your local craft store because it'll come out looking a little dull. Um, some of them you can see the glue behind them. It won't come out looking anything like this. So big difference. So it's best to just order online or if you have in your town of someone who has rhinestones like these so you don't have to order online, that would be great. Um, I don't know of any place in my town that uh, has rhinestones like that so I have to order online here's some red AB um, some white AB I won these in a eBay auction I won those and then these are the colored ones that I did for um, if you've seen my Etsy shop I have a pair of shoes on there called over the rainbow these are the stones that I used to do those shoes um, I just got these now this is a pack of different color rhinestones and I've been hearing people talk about AliExpress and things like that so I went on there just to see what they had and I chose these this was like a dollar for this pack and it's like 5,000 and they're all different colors size 3 but they're very um dull I opened it up and I looked at them and the colors on them are a little dull. They don't really shine that bright. So I don't know what I'm going to use this for. But it was only a dollar for the whole pack and it didn't take that long to get to me. So um, I guess if you're interested in looking at AliExpress.com for some, you can go on there too. But other than that, that's a majority of what I do, guys. And just use E6000 glue. Make sure you get real rhinestones to order. Don't please don't use the ones from the craft store. They definitely will not turn up anything like this. If you really want it to shine, if you don't want it to be dull, please don't get the ones from the craft store. And like I said, I try to fill in every single step. I'll probably make a video if you guys want showing you guys how I do it, but I try to fill in every single spot with the rhinestone so that it's all covered so everything is covered other than that if you guys have any questions just write to me message me anything if you want to check out my online stores I'll leave the links below and I'll leave the links below for the places that I get my rhinestones so you guys can check those out too but thanks for watching guys I will see you later